What's up guys, Crispy Collectibles here coming at you with another video. A uh, new band list just dropped uh, earlier today. Uh, I haven't had a chance to review it, but I'm going to review it here for you guys. Um, so yeah, the previous band list, as it states right on the screen, uh, will remain in effect until May 17th, which is today. So it released effective immediately. Um, Konami already said that. So let's go through the list and see what uh, my personal thoughts on the band list are. <laughs> so... We're just going to go to new ones. New card that's banned is Mecha Beast Auroridon. Um, be honest with you, if they don't ban Halk, they have to ban stuff that enables Halk, like Auroridon. Um, Halk, Auroridon, into like many different synchro plays is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, excuse me, guys. Especially with like Mare Mare, just enablers. Um, that come with Halk, uh, the desk bot card, um, the Mare Mare being able to synchro into Yazi and get a Mare Mare out and just summon, summoning more tokens and being able to synchro summon with those. It, it's just ridiculous. Um, I think Halk needs to be banned personally. I don't think all, all these other cards should be punished for Halk, but you know, it is what it is. Um, okay, that's it for Aurorodon. Let's go on to Meow Meow. To be honest, this this needed to happen. Uh, Prank Kids was absolutely disgusting, especially when you're going to like premier events like regionals, YCS, and stuff like that. Um, being able to inherently gain and make your opponent lose life points is just absolutely absurd. And the fact that they had a link one that just made it more degenerate. So now that the fact Meow Meow is gone, uh, the deck is way way better off. Like not for it's not for its own purpose, but for the meta purpose, because that card did not need to exist. Now let's go to Verde Anaconda. Uh, I think this was a good hit, but they should have just hit Scythe. Uh, Verde definitely enables Scythe Lock is uh, OP, especially in like decks like Cyber's Eldritch, that just are one card Scythe Locks. It, it's ridiculous, and Verde enables stuff like that. But there's new ways that people are already coming out with that you can scythe lock people like going into uh i think one's halk with um jet synchron which is another card that we're going to talk about on the list in a little bit um just being able to do that is just busted um but yeah i mean that's it for verde like verde definitely enabled cards like red eyes fusion fusion destiny it, ju it just made it a lot better but you could still run those cards and it's still a pretty good engine to play both of those engines so that's it for the ban cards we didn't really see that many cards get banned just link monsters meow meow verde aurora dawn uh let's go into the limited section uh limited jet synchron uh this card's really good um with cards like aurora dawn out of the way like i definitely don't think it's gonna be over abused I, I definitely think it will be abused not overly abused though just my opinion like i said these are all that ban list um ban list reactions are is just personal opinions depending on who you're talking to uh perform a pal monkey board i know triff is gonna love that one shout outs to, <laughs> shout outs to triff um he loves pendulums and monkey board is definitely a really good card um i'm not really surprised to see that come off the ban list same thing with jet sinker i'm not really surprised those, those aren't cards that need to be banned right now i don't think anyway i could be proven wrong red rose dragon limiting to one um I definitely think that's a good thing. Uh, I love playing based myself, so I'm kind of salty about that. But um, in the overall grand scheme of everything, I definitely think Red Rose was a good hit. Just Red Rose into Rocks Rose into Basil Rose shoot. It just gave you so many like pluses off of one card that it, it just started to get ridiculous. Uh, here's an interesting one, Yada Garasu, uh, off the Forbidden list. I, I really don't think this card's gonna do that much. Excuse me. I really don't think that card's gonna do that much, in all honesty with you. Um, it, if it was a winged beast, I think it's a fiend, 
but instead of wing, like if it was a wing beast, this card would be nuts. Flow Wonderies would would be one of the best decks in the format. It's already a good deck, but like having a searchable Yadagarasu is just absolutely nuts. Good thing it's not a good thing it's not a wing beast. Um, next card we're going on to is Halcliffe Fibrax. This card needs to be banned. Uh, even at one, there's a lot of decks that only play one. You know, some decks play two, but now you can't play two. You can only play one. Um, that, that card just needs to be banned. It's so degenerate. It, it's a really, really, really strong card. Uh, and it has gotten a lot of other cards banned. Uh, just my opinion. Shooting Riser Dragon. I, I don't know why this went to one. It's not like anybody was playing more than one. I, I think I've seen some lists playing two, but most lists just play one. I, I don't really see why that needed to go to one. Um, Change of Heart is an interesting one as well. It was forbidden, but now it is at one. Um... I don't really think it's going to do that much, in my personal opinion. It's definitely a great card, and it'll definitely change the way some people play. I, I just don't think that needed to come off the list, and I don't think it's really going to change anything. Uh, then Trap Cards, Time Seal. I am going to be really honest with you. I don't know what Time Seal does, so let's check it out real quick. Time seal. Your opponent skips the next draw phase. All right, your opponent skips the draw phase of his or his or her next turn. That card's pretty decent. Um, I don't know if it'll see much play, but it's interesting. So that's it for the limited cards on this list. And I don't really think any of this is gonna change the format all too much. I could be wrong, but I, I just don't think it will. Then the semi-limited list. Uh, it looks like nothing got unbanned here. Just cards that were at one went to two. Uh, Dynamite Knight, the true Draco fighter. Uh, true Draco hasn't done anything in a while. I, I doubt this is going to help them at all. Um, but if they get Masterpiece back, whew, that's going to be a good anti-meta deck in my opinion anyway. Cyber Angel Ben 10 to 2 from being at 1. I don't really think that's going to change anything. Uh, Fire Formation Tanky, I definitely think is going to help Bird up a decent amount, but... It's one card. I don't think it's going to change too much. Pot of Desires. Uh, definitely correct to play two of these now in any deck that you're playing in one. You definitely want to play two of this. Trickstar Light Stage. I don't think Trickstars are going to do anything. But we'll see. And then Wall of Revealing Light. Nobody was playing it before. I don't know why you would play it now. Um, That's it for the Semi-Limited. Nothing really too big on here besides Tanky. At least in my, uh, Tanky and Desires. I'm sorry. But at least that's my opinion. And like I said before, that's all these things are. It's just opinion-based. Um, then we have three cards that were limited, which means they were at one, and three cards that were semi-limited, which means they were at two. We'll go over the ones that were at one first. Night Assailant, I don't think that it's going to do anything. Trishula, I, there might be some like crazy loop deck that's going to play Trish now. I, I don't know. Um, Mirage Stallio. And Circle, that's pretty good for Salomon Great. Salomon Great is a decent anti-meta deck right now, I think. But we'll see what that changes for them. A Hero Lives, definitely a cool card to see go to uh, definitely a cool card to see go to three. And then Scapegoat, also a really cool card to see go to three. Um, but yeah, like um, I, I don't think the meta is gonna change too much uh, outside of not being able to play Prank Kids. Um, but that's my opinion. You, we, might, we might see some like rogue decks come back. We might see some anti-meta decks come back. But at the end of the day, I think the format's just going to be branded plus Splite when they come out. And then you're going to have a bunch of random decks that are just going to do decent. Uh, but that's it, guys. As always, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and keep it crispy, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Have a good day.